Hi everybody. I figured I'd do a little review on this not electric heat powered wood stove fan. Woo woo. I don't know if you can hear the echo, but that's my stove and stove pipe. But um I got this because I'm living off grid with no regular electricity, limited solar power. And I wanted a fan or a way to circulate air through the camper. One, to reduce that, I believe it's called stratification of heat. We're down at the floor, it'll be 32 degrees, and up at the ceiling, it might be 75 degrees. If you can circulate the air, it mixes it so you get a more even heat from the floor to the ceiling and also by circulating the air I will help to reduce or eliminate any mold or musty smell issues anybody who's spent a lot of time in a RV camper or a cabin um, knows that you have a lot of mold and moisture issues if you can circulate air, you're going to reduce the moisture and uh, help prevent those uh, issues from arising. Um, so that's the reason for me getting this fan. I'll give you some specs on it. From what I've seen, it produces between 150 and 360 CFM or cubic feet per minute of air which is not a lot but if it's running all the time you get that constant motion of air and it uh it really helps over the long run the fan operates between temperatures of 185 degrees fahrenheit and 650 degrees fahrenheit the owner's manual states that if you go over 650, you can damage the fan. And under 185, it just won't operate. The surface of my space heater is maybe around somewhere between 230 and 300 degrees. So that's at the lower end of the heat range so it's not spinning very fast I'll just turn it around here that's pretty interesting because it uh, takes the heat from the stove and turns it into electricity which spins a small electric motor that's attached to that fan blade you don't feel like a big force of air coming out of it and that's partly because of the design of the fan blades um, it's designed to kind of spread the air in a broader versus a more direct path and um, I think again that's just to kind of more evenly spread the heat out it's kind of nice because I can take it um, it's small I still have room on top of the heater for my hot water and uh, right here I have a little drying rack for my washcloths, wet socks, gloves, whatever might get wet that needs drying quick. Point the fat at them and they dry off a lot faster. Um, let's see. It cost me about $60. I went online and uh, did a lot of searching and looked at a lot of reviews. And this particular one had the best reviews and uh, seemed to operate at the lowest heat range. And a lot of the people who had it said that it worked best for them. And so I went with it and it seems to work pretty good trying to think of anything else I could tell you about it um, operates between 185 
degrees and 650 degrees produces between 150 and roughly 360 CFM of air movement cost about $60 shipped and it doesn't use any electricity <laughs> that's the number one thing because I have a fan I have several electric fans and I can uh, plug them into my power inverter and run the fan all day long if I want to but it just uses up a lot of electricity that I would rather be using for lighting or for <laughs> charging my phone um, so this is a nice way to just take that heat that's already coming off of the heater and uh, put it to use um, can't really think of anything else to say about it um, but I figured I'd share it because uh, I know for me my first year living here I had a lot of issues with uh, mold and moisture and I really had a big issue with having the floor temperature be at freezing or below and the air up at the ceiling be like 75 I'm not up at the ceiling I'm you know at the middle of the camper down so that's where I kinda want the heat and this fan really helps with that um, that's pretty much it um, if you guys have any other suggestions for non-electric appliances or maybe there's some other things that will operate off of the heat of the stove as well I know I thought uh, if I can use this to generate electricity to spin an electric motor for a fan then I should be able to generate utilize that same electricity to perhaps uh, charge my phone or um, I don't know operate a TV or something obviously if this generates electricity I can uh, put that electricity use to use in other ways as well so I don't know if there's other things out there uh, it'd be interesting to hear uh, what they are and how they work um, it's a bit of a mystery to me how this fan works one thing I will mention about it is it it tells you that when you set it up you want to put it to the rear of the heater because I guess the way it works is uh, the bottom gets hot and the top is cool and that difference in temperature is what generates the heat so if you have it at the center or towards the front you're not going to get that cold air from behind to uh, give you that temperature difference but I seem to be able to put it anywhere on the heater I want right now I got it pointed towards the drying rack but typically I have it angled towards the aisle way so it just kind of takes the air and moves it down the aisle of the camper it's got a little handle here for picking it up the blades have no protection and they're pretty thin and delicate so it's easy to bump them and bend them or something um, haven't had too much of an issue with that yet but uh, that's it non-electric heat powered wood still fan thanks for watching